This is a reminder video of how to import footage into Final Cut Pro. First thing you want to do is make sure that that footage is on your desktop or on your computer. So you click right now it's on an SD card. It's in the SD card slot. It's in this DCIM folder. I'm going to pick these files here. Um, you only want the video file so you can sort it by kind and then only get the MP4s. I'm going to open a folder inside my Final Cut folder. So right now I'm going to copy this into this Matthew 4th folder. So I select all of them by holding shift and clicking the top and the bottom, drag and drop. It'll then copy those over to the folder. It's important that you copy to the fold to the computer so that it one it runs a lot better and two, once you pull out that memory card, the footage will no longer be accessible by so by the software. So once it's copied over, you can see that on the computer folder, all those files exist. And we want to make sure we eject the disk so there's no confusion as to where that footage came from. Just pulled it out. Going to go into Final Cut. I'm going to have the window open. The great thing about a Mac is you can drag and drop everything. So I'm going to hold Shift and click again. I'm going to import it into this event that's been created. If you don't have an event, you can right click and just say New Event. And you can say Final cut demo and you can spell it correctly so I'm going to drag and drop these files into that event the new final cut will process those files while we're importing them so you can resize your windows if it makes it easier and it's a nice thing to do to resize this so right now we're just seeing clips if we make this bigger it can be we can see 30 second samples all the way up to one half second so it'll make it a little easier to skip through once you have an event created you want to create a project you can either go to file new project the project is the timeline that exists down here you can also click on this guy which is your project view you can see all these are current projects that exist on this machine I can click the plus create a new project called final cut demo and I'm going to save it into the Final Cut demo event. Now I have a nice blank timeline that I can work with. From here you're going to go through for this part of the project and you're going to find your interviews. You're going to click on your interviews and you can zoom in, zoom out, whatever makes it easiest for you. But what you want to do here, first you want to create a timeline that's just telling your story. So just go through all of your interviews and take all of the best moments out. So you can either resize the handles here, or you can use the quick keys I and O, which are for in and out. So I put O here, that's the out point, and I put I here, that's the in point, and then I can drop it in to the timeline. Once you've told your story, the next thing you're going to want to do is go through and cut out all the ums and the uhs so that your people, one, it'll make it go a lot quicker and two it'll make it'll give your subjects a little greater sense of authority so you're gonna go through put all of your line up all your interviews of people telling your story and then you're gonna go through and cut out all the ums and uhs to shorten the length and then once you have a one nice timeline which is probably less than three minutes you will then start layering on the b-roll and the coverage that you shot you can see that this one, this button here actually will let you put in, this button here will let you t layer in B-roll. 
so I can just select another clip in and out I can go to here and it will put it on the second layer so then when I watch it the interview subject is talking and then we show something else while it's being on screen you can resize that to fit so this should take you through Tuesday and Friday's work and then when I'm back on Tuesday we'll continue working on this you don't have to save it but when you quit you may have to it may say that it's still processing so if their background tasks running what that means is that it's rendering in the background so these current files on here are temporary and they're made just so that we can edit but Final Cut renders everything in the background now and it won't if you quit the rendering will stop that's all have a great week